So Jason, this is a hyperbaric chamber. Yes, it is. So describe to me what it is and what it does. So basically, I mean, this is a, a portable chamber, so mm -hmm. it's meant to, for the most part, be in people's homes. And um, what it does is it's basically just taking, the way this is one set up is it's taking room air mm -hmm. and it's filling room air into the chamber mm -hmm. and pressurizing the chamber. Okay. Uh, as a result of being in a pressurized environment, your body's able to uh, dissolve a higher percentage of oxygen than you and I can just standing here. So what's the theory? Uh, that by pressurizing air, you're gonna get more into your lungs and this has a, a beneficial effect on your cells or what's, what's the premise right. around it? So basically, I mean, it's, it's Boyle's law, but mm -hmm. it says that when, as you increase the pressure of a gas, mm -hmm. you can put more of that gas in whatever you're trying to put it in. Okay. And so as, you know, right now we're at roughly one atmosphere mm -hmm. and as you get pressurized, just like a can of soda, right. right? They put carbon dioxide, not oxygen, but you put carbon dioxide into that, you could hold a whole lot more air. Right. right. When you crack that open, it's releasing that, mm -hmm. but that inside that liquid is excess carbon dioxide. When you're in this chamber under pressure, your, your body's basically gonna hold on to an increased percentage of the oxygen that you're breathing. And how, typically, how long will you put somebody inside for? For the most part, with these, I mean, it depends a lot on, you know, what the conditions are and how the people tolerate the different pressures. But for the most part, the average is probably an hour. Some people do 90 minutes. Some mm -hmm. people do two hours. Um, with small children, sometimes we'll only do 30 minutes, but then we'll do it more frequently. Right. Now, I heard you talk about, was it your father-in-law? Yeah, or, yes. uh, my stepfather. Your stepfather. Yeah. So your stepfather, uh, what was he suffering with? So he had, uh, well, still has MS. MS. Um, he was, I was the first patient once we bought this. Uh -huh. um, he was our second patient. But uh, yeah, so he has MS and being under pressure, dissolving all that extra oxygen, you could basically start to heal the nervous system. Mm -hmm. you know, so one of the off-label indications is for, for people with MS. And um, yeah, he did, what we did was 40 dives in 40 days. Mm -hmm. um, but he had tremendous results. I mean, feeling back in his feet, walking, doing stairs, climbing ladders. Oh, my mom wasn't happy about that. But. And uh, do you find any resistance with, especially because you're working with, with kids, right, and, and uh, you know, vaccine-damaged kids, are you yeah. finding any resistance getting them in there, or? Honestly, the yeah. kids do great. Yeah. If anything, the parents have hesitation, they see it. Yeah. I, you know, I do this every day, so yeah. I don't even see it anymore, but right. I could recognize it's, it's a little intimidating, I think, at first. Mm -hmm. But kids love it. Kids think it's like they're going camping, they're in a tent, you know, <laughs> they're really comfortable. Uh -huh. um, and this one's meant, this size is meant for a parent and a child to go in together. So you can put them in together. So they, they both work. go in together. You know, a lot of times parents will read a book or they'll bring in a video and mm -hmm. watch a movie, listen to music. Sometimes, whenever we can, we'll actually have them do stimulating things, right? Because if you're, if you're basically under pressure and you're right. absorbing higher levels of oxygen and then you stimulate the parts of the brain that you're trying to heal, right. you know, you're bringing more fuel to those areas. So sometimes we'll have them do specific activities in there as long as the, the child's are willing to, to do that. And how long have you been doing this? We've been doing this for about 11 years. Cool. All right, so I guess I'm going to jump in. All right, you ready? So you can just step right in through the top. Perfect. It's like a, a cocoon. <laughs> have a seat. You're gonna lie straight back so your head can face this window up top just so you can see out. Uh, for the most part, you know, the more you're just kind of hanging out, relaxing, uh -huh. you know, just relax, breathe, listen to your music. Mm -hmm. The only thing you're really gonna feel are your ears popping. Oh, really? Okay. All right. cool. So basically once this thing fills up, mm -hmm. right, like it was before, you'll start to notice the walls are getting hard. At mm -hmm. that time, you'll feel a little bit of pressure in your ears. Mm -hmm. No big deal. Try to keep up with it. Okay. So as you feel it, just pinch your nose Try and kind of blow it, it okay. or okay. yawn or whatever you do to clear your ears. If you keep up with it, it'll be you know, a piece of cake. Should I wait till, uh, till that's done before I put my headphones on? Um, you could do simultaneously. Okay. That's fine. All right, cool. um, after about five minutes, once you're like at total pressure, okay. there won't be any more change. You won't feel anything in your ears. You'll feel exactly the same way you feel here. All right, cool. And then you'll only feel that same experience when you're coming back down later on. Okay. All right. And then it's the same thing on the way out? On the way out, it almost self. Does if it If you itself. need it, okay. if you need to, you can, but okay. otherwise it pretty much self-regulates over time usually. Cool. So, ready to go? I'm ready. All right. This is weird. Well, I'm in my little oxygen womb here. Uh, it's uh, 
So yeah, you feel pressure in your ears as it's coming up, but it's very easy to clear. It's not a big deal. Um, plenty of space around me, so it's not like uh, I'm feeling like I'm all claustrophobic. And uh, you know, I'm gonna just throw on the headphones and listen to some music, and I think I'll be very comfortable in here. <laughs> I feel like definitely the boy in the bubble. I got a camera over here, a camera up here. <laughs> so this is pretty simple. You just lay here and breathe, not much to it. Um, and uh, I think the environment's actually quite comfortable. So uh, this, is, this is very cool stuff. So I'll throw on a nice meditation. All right, Patrick, you're almost back. Welcome back. All right. How'd we do? Great. Not so bad, right? Yep. You need a hand? No, I'm good. All right. It's like the uh, chicken's coming out of the egg. <laughs> Comfortable? Yeah, it was great. Good. I got a nice deep sleep in there. All right. <laughs> so, um... Wow. All right. So I guess so. What should I be noticing now? So you know, I mean, first session at what was it, about forty-five minutes. Yep. Um, you know, in terms of oxygenation, you definitely are super saturated currently. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of people it really does take a session or two, right. three sometimes, to really start to feel things. But mm -hmm. for sure, people tend to be more relaxed, sleep a little bit better, nice and calm. Yeah. Right. Kind of a. It's a good reset. I feel very peaceful right now. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's a good reset. Good stuff. Way. Thanks. Exactly. You're welcome. Appreciate it.